Uh, my name is Shri Kasuri. I am an assistant professor of chemistry and biochemistry here at UCLA. My lab works on developing technologies uh, in genomics to make uh, the understanding and engineering of biology easier. And so we mostly work on technologies to make uh, reading and writing of DNA better. And we use that to study how cells regulate their genes. We don't work on a specific disease per se. Um, so we use a wide variety of models and cells in our, in our lab. So everything from uh, bacteria to yeast and other types of model systems where we try to understand basic principles. Um, but the technologies we develop get applied to all sorts of different problems, ranging from uh, technologies to all the way to trying to stu study and engineer human disease. I was born in North Carolina, I, then by way of Manhattan, Kansas, and that eventually to Philadelphia, New Jersey, where I spent most of my middle school and high school days in New Jersey. I did my undergraduate at UC Berkeley. I went to MIT after that to do my PhD in biological engineering. Um, after MIT, I left to help start a company in the biofield space for a couple of years, and then came back to work at Harvard with George Church uh, at the Wies Institute where I did my postdoctoral studies. And then I came here to UCLA about a year and a half ago to, to start my own lab. Uh, and so that's kind of been the, our build out over the last year and a half. Our lab came about because we really feel like developing new technologies is going to be completely necessary for us to progress forward in the space, at least within my lifetime. What we're interested in doing is trying to accelerate the process of learning about biology in order to manipulate it. And by manipulate it, I mean being able to intervene in biology by not finding a, a random drug, but engineering one with knowledge. And, and so I think that takes a lot of understanding and we're very far from it. And that's why we believe that building new technologies is going to be our way to accelerate that progress. I, the lab is a really fun place, I think. It, it's intense, but it's also fun. I, I think small things that you do in the lab with your hands turns into uh, something that works experimentally, and that's just a fun day-to-day -day, uh, thing that happens that I just really like and I enjoy a lot. Um, then there's a the process of just you know, get getting an experiment to work that you've worked uh, sometimes weeks, sometimes months, sometimes years on. And, and then and that's also just very gratifying. And I think the third part is really explaining a problem that's been bugging you for a long time. Uh, the mission is to rationally interact with the living world uh, in a way that uh, is intentional. Uh, and that might means curing disease, but it also means how do we interact with our environment and how do we um, use biology like we do now to build products that we use biology for. Things like uh, meat and food and uh, clothing and things like that is all due to our interaction with the natural world and how we do that in a rational way I think is something that we strive towards. I think it's just really fun. It's really a privilege to be able to do that uh, for your life's work. Um, so I really appreciate it and I, I think that that really that fun of it and knowing that you're kind of learning about the world in, in a way that no one else has ever seen before is, is really fun.